All right, so you want to talk to me just about how your season started and how your season progressed this year at Dow real quick or just just in general? Uh, sure, yeah. Well, uh, we were very lucky to have a lot of uh, returning players. Uh, Richie Casamata, our starting point guard. Yep. Jared Reed, our shooting guard. Yep. And Cashwell Lawrence, uh, our fifth-year 6'3 power forward. And mm. also... Uh, the versatile Sven Stansberger. Svenbo. And, yep, and uh, we're lucky we had a grad transfer from Queen's University, Ralph Stroud. Yeah. So he was a, a, a fifth year player too. So we're lucky that we had a lot of veteran players. And also, we have a couple of kids like Jordan Aquino Sergio. He was, you know, our starter for us last year. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, yep, so uh, that's Captain. So we were able to get ahead. In a lot of our Eskimos and our defensive schemes in September. So mm-hmm. we were kind of ahead of the ball and maybe some of the teams in the country were definitely in our conference. So uh, that allowed us to pick up a big win at Ryerson in October. Yeah. As well as go into Brock and, and beat them. So. That's big. That's big. That's big. So then, how, like, how did playoffs, like, when did you guys clinch playoffs? And then what was your record going into playoffs? And how did playoffs go in the U.S.? Um, Pretty uh, solid. We the season title. Our, both of our losses were to two teams, so we lost to Steve twice yep. and you and me twice. Okay, at home, or was that at home, or was that on the road, or what was the... Uh, we lost to you and me at home and uh, on the road as well. Oh, okay, so that just wasn't a good matchup for you guys, or what was the deal? Yeah, well, they're pretty deep, really deep. And, you know, they had Siobhan Masters, so they're, they're a really talented team. They gave us problems. Okay, okay. And then what happened with St. Mary's? They, they're, I know they're strapped. I know they got all types of talent on their team. Yeah, you know, you have to deal with a lot of dribble drive. They have Marquis Clayton. They have Brian Rouse. Uh, you know, they have Leon Reed. Uh, they have a Reaper. Yeah. They, they so much pressure on your defense, so, you know. Yeah. You, you don't protect the paint well against them. It can save Clayton in the ball speed. It's more along that. Okay, okay. And also, they're underrated defensively. Uh, you think? Really? A lot of people say they're not yeah, good defensively. Uh, well, I guess I'll say they play pretty good defense. You know, they I think it's, I think they I think they look forward to Dow games. I think that's what it is. Yeah, like Marquis plays pretty good defense when he plays against us, and and uh, Cash Rell also. He, you know, they look forward to try to shut those two two down. So yeah, I think that Richie that Richie Marquis matchup and that Castillon Reaper matchup is what it gets it going. Yeah. yeah, and then um, so in terms of nationals, just talking about the week of nationals and how it was leading up to it and the press conferences because I know it was crazy. You're just watching it from an Edmonton, I was just jealous. I wish I was there, man. Like, so just talking about that week and how it went for you guys. Yeah, well, well, for me, you know, being assistant, me and my boy Chad White, it's off with the field and matchups. How are we going to stop Alberta's pick and roll? How are we going to stop Mabadu? All right, you know, Chad, he's the, the offensive guy. You know, who are we going to exploit in the pick and roll? So, so we're letting him know what to take the game plan during the best market. So, you know, that's one of the parts that, uh, that we've enjoyed the last couple of years of playing at Nationals. We're able to take a week to game plan for a certain opponent. And we had a tough one with Alberta this year. We'll open it up. Okay. And then, so talk to me about that game. I was watching that on my feet at the crib, bro. I was in Edmonton like, yo, please don't lose this game. Because you know I run with these boys. You know they be talking trash. You know that. You know that. I was like, Anton, please, please don't lose this game, bro. So talk to me about that game and how it progressed. Because I know you guys were up early. Mama Dude was in foul trouble. And then second half, he came out blazing. Right. Watching, watching the film, he is a pretty good passer of the double team, and and I didn't want Pippen to get Did, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't want, and I had him in my game plan. The Arnett kid, I knew he was gonna hurt us, but you know, because people sleep on him, right? The yeah, Arnett is good, bro. He can shoot the ball. I don't like him as a person, personally, but as a shooter, I can't hate on him. I can't. Yeah, so, 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 so we just decided to not double. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, Mama Dude will get into foul trouble. Uh, hurt them and. But Annette was going off, though. Annette was going off at the start of the game, no? Yeah. But his matchup fell asleep on him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, so then Mamadou came out blazing, and then all of a sudden, you guys are down in the fourth for a little bit, right? Yeah, or, and then we, you know, then, then uh, we just had to, you know, go to our pressure defense with a runner and jumping, so that there caused a little bit of chaos. Yeah. And we got some turnovers. Yeah, and then you ended up pulling it up. Sven thought, when Sven found out, what were you thinking? Uh, next man up. That's what it is, eh? Next man up. Well, that's where we're at down there. We, you know, we have to try to, you know, get that mentality next man up. So, you know, yeah. Don't foul, so it's next man up. Okay, so then talk to me about the. If you were talking about next man up, talk to me about the next game in Ryerson where Richie gets the worst call of the year. The worst call of the year, and you're down. What was the mentality then? Yeah. Uh, you know, we're down six, and uh, then you know, Richie gets fouled, and we make out a one point game. And then Cash had the shot, but it just didn't go. Or was that what? Is that what? Do you draw it up like that, or was that just improv? No, yeah. Well, I think that you know, we talked about in the in the time of if we're down three, uh, and then I'm actually sure if, if the guys knew what we wanted, if we only needed a, a bucket. Right. That was that was a play that we had. I don't think that uh, the players were in the right spot. Right. Should have been, been, been the one set the screen. Yeah, it should have been Sven shooting that shot if he had to shoot. I cash should have drove, bro. They should, you, y'all. Should, I I thought my personal opinion. I thought you should have just ISO cash and let him go to work and get the two point and win the game. But he had, he got the ball with like two seconds left. He had no choice. You know what I mean? He had to shoot that. And that's not his forte, but it is what it is. So now, looking forward for next year, what do you guys, who do you guys have coming in? Who's coming back? Um, is, is Carson going to be healthy again? Uh, that's Alex Carson, former basketball Nova Scotia national champion, scored 29 points in the final, if you guys don't know on the radio here. Um, who do you guys have coming back, and, and, and what, do we, what do we look forward to from Dow Basketball? Okay, well, yeah, Alex Carson, he will be back. You know, he, he has to start for us. Yeah. Hurt. Wow, so he could have been all rookie. Yeah, well, he was like shooting like 60% from three before he got hurt. Wow. Uh, uh, my favorite player, your favorite player, Cedric Sanogo, will be back. Okay. Uh, Talk to me about Seti. Yeah, well, he's going to be back. You know, he's going to be the starting point guard. Uh, you know, he's going to be the starting point guard. Yes, what position is he playing? What's he looking like? What's he? What's the rehab looking like for him? Uh, he's uh, back in the second semester, but it wasn't as strong and it just didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. In the country, in the country, period. Wait, in the country, like, you know, last year, Richie Kamada, you know, got a lot of, you know, the accolades of being the best defensive player. Yeah. In our team, you know. Yeah. Richie said, he'll tell you Cedric's right there. Of course. We know that. We know that. Cedric's right there, Montreal. Yeah. Uh, uh, we also picked up a, a guard, a 6'4 guard or the Fortune High School in uh, Nova Scotia named He-Man Dino. Okay, what do you look like? He's athletic? What's his game like? Uh, he's athletic. Uh, what's, what's your boy from UBC? Jordan White? Jordan White? Yeah, he's not as strong as him, but he's his size and he's versatile, but he can shoot the rock. So is he like Maurice? Oh, is he athletic like Maurice, though? Yeah, not that athletic, but he can get up, man. Oh. He's going to throw it down on you, but his, his uh, ball IQ was off the track. Okay, I like it. 